most exciting aspect of quantum computing is that yet we need to understand a lot about what these machines could be capable of. My name is Natalia Ares. I'm an associate professor at the University of Oxford, and I uh, work on quantum devices, in particular in, in quantum technologies, applying machine learning to the control of these quantum devices and uh, to help us develop this quantum hardware. When we say quantum computing, right, we think this is a very powerful computer, uh, like in the Black Mirror episodes where you know, whatever that cannot be explained can be explained. <laughs> Our classical computers and all the advancements that we have today in computing are based in just um, computing with zeros and ones. What quantum computing allows us to do is to access a much bigger set of possibilities. So you can think that you can access and you can compute in states that um, form a whole sphere to compute a lot uh, faster and a lot more efficiently. As machine learning can help us develop this quantum hardware, also once we have this quantum hardware, the question is, can we run more powerful AI? We do not exactly know how quantum AI might look like, but something that I'm very hopeful for is that it looks like more efficient computing. Because nowadays, um, AI is very powerful, but any, very energy intensive. And this is a problem. So if we could uh, do AI a lot more efficiently, this would be incredibly powerful. I hope, and I, I'm trying to do as much as I can to help other other women um, and uh, other people that, that need uh, mentorship, people that are maybe do not have as strong networks as others, or they cannot rely as much on big networks as others. These networks are, are not fully developed and, and it's very important then that we help each other and that we understand each other. It's very important to talk. Actually, it's amazing how much people, how many people are there to help you if you ask for help. I think it is important that we work on developing the uh, workforce of tomorrow for the quantum industry. I think what we really need is people that may be formed in, in a way that in bits like hybrid engineers that you know, know a lot more about uh, quantum, a computer scientist that know a lot more about quantum. So making it more broad in terms of disciplines and uh, more diverse. I think this is a very important task that, that we have. Mm -hmm.